So, a quick review before ukulele. And being on the 3DS, there will be no game footage because 3DS capture cards are made out of diamonds, mermaid, blood, and the gold from a leprechaun's pot at the end of the fucking rainbow. And also because it's a Nintendo game and I really can't be asked to deal with their content ID shit on what will be no more than a three, maybe five minute review. So, Kirby Clash Deluxe is little more than a boss rush with RPG elements. So, every single mission is nothing more than a boss. And upon killing the boss, you are awarded experience for a level up and shards to create newer, stronger armor and weapons. And that's all there is to it. And it's fun. Really, really fun. Everything screams Kirby. All the colour and charm of a Kirby game. In terms of most of the elements, it's all great. The visuals, really bright and colourful. The gameplay is fun and the combat flows perfectly. And the humour, like this one, where you get more roundness that does nothing. <laughs> it's funny. It's all spot on. But then we get into the biggest problem that lets the whole thing down and turns it from it's great to it's a boring waste of time. That is the crystal apples. Like gems or pearls or whatever, they, as you might guess, are the premium currency in the game and you need them for absolutely fucking everything. Want a new weapon? Well, it costs the normal boss shards as well as the premium crystal app apples. Want new armor? Same, boss shards and our premium buy it with real money apples. New passives? Purely premium apples, please. Even unlocking a new fucking level? A new fucking level? Oh, sorry, you need some of our premium currency to do that. I'm at the next gate of Wispy Willow, but I can't even unlock him until I get 20, yes, 20 of the premium apples. Oh yeah, and there's also this hire a friend thing. It's not that big of a deal, but five premium apples if you want to try that out. And like any fee-to-pay game, it will lure you in at the start. Like your first five levels, it will shower you with apples. Like, oh dude, you beat level one, ten apples. Oh, you leveled up once, another ten apples. So it lulls you into a false sense of security, thinking, oh man, this is a really well put together fair game. But once you hit about level 7, the apples dry up. And with like the weapons and the armor and even unlocking the next fucking level, it starts to ramp up how many apples you need. As I say, at the start of the game, it's like, oh, here's your first gate. A mere five apples. But then you get seven. Now 10, to the point where I am, a full doubling of 20 apples. And now, here I am, in limbo, where I got bored and give up. I've got a hundred of all three shards, if not more, but fuck all to spend them on, as I still need the premium currency. I've got all the stamina in the world to do quests, but I can't do a new one, as I don't have the 20 apples to unlock the next quest. So, the only thing I can do is sit here and wait for the tree to grow more. However, their free tree that gives you a mere five apples a day, that's fuck all compared to what you actually need. Oh, but you know, if you say, mm, buy 50 apples, we can make that tree bigger, it won't cost much. Just a measly, I don't know, 100 gems. Seriously? <laughs> And this is what I really fucking hate about this game. It's one of the biggest offenders of fee to pay and pay to win on levels of Candy Crush or any of the other little leeches. You want to advance? Pay up the cash. 
Oh, but Spyro, you don't have to pay if you have Amiibo or Planet Robo, but... You see, if you have an Amiibo, you can tap them and they can give you bonus apples every day. I'd like to point out that the apples are actually a really, really rare chance and 90% of the time you'll just get shards, but there is that really rare time that you'll get an apple, but the point still stands. But if you've got an old 3DS with no reader, you're fucked. So stump up the cash. Or if you bought Planet Robobot, then you unlock god tier items in the form of a robotic sword and the Suzy suit. These two items are the best in the game and have better stats than any of the normal in-game items, making it a perfect example of pay to win. You see, pay for Planet Robobot, get the Suzy suit, never have to worry about buying weapons and armor again, which means all them apples can go to unlocking the levels. Of course, if you don't have it, well, you have to spend apples on new weapons and armor to even have a chance at the harder levels, which means you're going to run out of apples a lot faster, wherein you can either sit around for four days, five apples a day, to get the 20 you need for the new armor or to open up the next fucking level, or you can do exactly what Nintendo wants and be a fucking whale. Oh, oh, but don't worry, Nintendo has you covered, as Sundays is Apple Day. So, for Apple Day, if you buy some apples from Nintendo, Nintendo will very graciously give you some bonus apples for your purchase. How many? Take a guess. I'm going to buy 50 apples. I'm not, this is just a hypothetical. But let's say I'm going to buy 50 apples on a Sunday, so I will get awarded some bonus apples. How many bonus apples do you think I get for purchasing 50 apples? 20? For a nice 70? Nah. 10? That seems fair to make it 60. Nah. Five, nope, three, <laughs> no. You get two. Yeah, for spending money on a Sunday for 50 apples, Nintendo will very graciously give you two of their made-up bullshit currency. Fuck off. So, my final verdict for Kirby Clash Deluxe is... A underwhelming 2 out of 5. Don't get it. Unless you have Planet Robobot, you're not beating it. It's one of the best examples of fee to pay this year. So, give Kimishima that cash, you fucking whale. And you want to know the real shit thing about all this? Like, the really worst part? I fucking really enjoyed my time with Clash. During the beginning section, when everything was in abundance, I was enjoying it and having a lot of fun with it. I did find one or two nitpicks, but it was a really great game and it was on track for a 4, if not a 5 out of 5. But then, the later levels started to come and the apples got lower and lower, and everything required more and more of their bullshit premium currency to the point where every single second the game was trying to strong arm me into spending real world money on crystal apples to the point where you said, you know what, I'm done. You took a really fun, interesting concept, good on you how, and then you twisted and mangled it Till it's nothing more than a time sink whose sole purpose is to give you less and less apples to force you into either buying more or giving up. Or buying Robobot for the god tier items or give up. It's a topic for another day, but I don't think fee to pay games have any right to exist. Free demos to get you interested in the full thing, yes, but free games themselves? No, as they only serve to be whale-hunting shit like this. 
Kirby Clash Deluxe has absolutely no right to be free to play. And there was no need for it. If this game was a paid for experience, not full price as it's a simple concept, but if this was like Mario Run or something, and it was five, maybe ten dollars at a push, I would have happily bought it and even said to all of you, it's amazing, buy it, it's great. But now, with its shit fee to pay model, I can't. And it has the opposite effect. And I say, don't bother with it. As all it will do is suck you in at the start of the game and make you love it, only to break your heart when you run out of apples. Because you're going to run out of apples fast. So you have to buy more of its shitty freemium currency that has no right to exist. Especially because it's the key to everything. Like, a few premium items, I would have got it. You know, like double XP, whatever. A few premium items, I would have understood. But basic weapons, basic armor, and even unlocking the next fucking level for no other reason than it will drain your reserves fast. That was just downright scummy.